Bluetooth is off, radio is off, ignition is on, and now we're going to start going through the setup. The car started, that's an excellent sign. If the ECU flash did not work, the car would not have started. Pull so hard and half, half throttle, man, it throws you right back in your seat like full throttle would before. Hello folks, welcome to NetCruiser Cars. Okay, the day has finally arrived. My parts finally came in. I got the parts to do the flash to the stage one tune on my Golf R. Let's get started. Long wait, a bit of a delay due to the uh, current worldly conditions. The Cobb Access Port. I ordered this from a company called Equilibrium Tuning. They had a sale on that allowed you to get their free, what I consider to be top of the line tunes with a Cobb Access Port. So EQT or Equilibrium Tuning makes kind of next level tunes for Cobb Access Ports. You can buy these for your car and then you can just use the base Cobb maps. But if you get it from an installer or a tuning company, they make other tunes available that are even better. Uh, I did get the one that allows for flashing to the DSG as well, but we're not gonna do DSG in this video. I'm just gonna go through the ECU tune first. Just a couple of things here. Thank you for buying an EQT product. There's a really great Facebook group where, where a bunch of support is uh, available. Uh, you only want to be flashing your software if you have OEM software or other Cobb software on your ECU. If you previously have a tune from something like APR, Unitronic, all kinds of other different companies make tunes for these Volkswagens. And you all have to make sure that you're on OEM first or Cobb. Factory tune level before you get started. A little bit more information about how to get support for your access port, how to get it registered. And what it is, it's a little computerized device that does store maps on it and it does tuning and data logging and live gauges but this device allows you to flash upgrade tune your dsg transmission and your you don't have to leave it plugged in all the time it's unlike my previous tune which is a piggyback tune the piggyback tune required a box be plugged into the engine all the time this one is purely software and then you can hook up this unit if you want for data logging or additional information. So it comes in this cute little case. In here is just some additional other like mounts and cables and stuff. And I'm gonna take you through the process of flash tuning my car for the first time. I've had a Mark 7 GTI and now a Mark 7.5 Golf R. And the Mark 7 had a piggyback tune. This car up until now had a piggyback tune. I have avoided a full flash tune up until now, but this car does so well, it's so reliable, and it has such great traction, I really want to be able to get even more power. To the tune that I got with this is I'm going to go with EQT Stage 1, which uh, is a significantly bump over stock. You're looking at almost an 80 horsepower uh, jump over stock performance with no additional upgrade parts. Uh, and then you can go Stage 2, Stage 3, or Custom Pro Tune beyond that if you want. So this is a USB cable. I have hooked up the access port to my computer just to make sure that it is on the latest software. Uh, just learning how that process works of getting maps on and off. Since I bought this from EQT, it did come preloaded with their own stage one map that I ordered, the specific map that I ordered. In an abundance of caution, I backed up the maps to my computer. I downloaded additional Cobb maps. I downloaded the transmission maps I'm gonna need later. Um, just to make sure that I have a copy of the maps of this because there is a situation where you can lose them. If something happens where the car does not accept the flash properly and it doesn't successfully back up the stock tune, have this reset by Cobb. And in the fit, in the situation where you have to reset your Cobb access port, you lose out of any of the software and maps that are on it. So I wanted to make sure that I had it fully backed up first. So that's been done. Uh, it's a pretty lightweight little box. The cable plugs into the bottom and that's gonna plug into the OBD2 port on the car. And then for USB connectivity, it's this one up here, a micro USB connection. I'll get this hooked up and we'll, we'll go through the process. In here is the most important cable that we need, which is the one that goes to the bottom of the unit to the OBD2 port. So we'll get that out now. Oh, that's the, uh, the base mount. So there's a, there's a mount here and additional face plates for the Cobb unit. So you can change the look of it. So it comes with a gray and a black face plate. But this is the OBD2 connection to the port that plugs into the bottom of the access port. The price point is within the same as getting a software only tune. With this one, you're getting a little handheld computer that does data logging and live gauges, like this can do a boost gauge and AFR and intake temps and knock sensors and all kinds of stuff you can do on this. Plus it's a computer that holds the maps and allows you to flash upgrade your car. 
That's why I went with Cobb and then I went with EQT because just they have an excellent reputation right now. Uh, equilibrium tuning really kind of rose up to the top of the of the top of the list pretty darn quick and everyone's been raving about how smooth their tunes are and how safe their tunes are. Uh, and they've just released a new version 2.0 tune which is even smoother than before. Now unfortunately there was something that just was realized if you enable Cobb launch control uh, on a version 2 tune there is an issue where it's over boosting. Um, so it's unsafe to do that right now. They've told everyone do not use launch control on this tune right now, but they have since fixed it and they're going to send out a 2.01 file to everyone who has 2.0 already. So that's being handled for free and we'll get that update in the coming days. So I'll be able to flash 2.0 onto my car, EQT 2.0. I just won't be able to do Cobb launch control until I get the update to 2.01. Uh, that was a lot of information up front, but uh, this is a fairly complex thing. You know, we're going to go through a fairly sensitive procedure of basically overwriting the engine computer on this car. So I'm being overly cautious. I'm reading about everything that has to do with this, what I needed to know ahead of time, what I needed to do now. And, uh, and so there's a couple of things I want to go over. As I mentioned, I'm doing an abundance of caution. So I have hooked up the battery to a battery tender. This is highly recommended that you do this. You just want to make sure that the battery is not low, that it doesn't get too low during the uh, the flash cycle. So I have hooked it up where it's just getting a trickle charge right now and uh, just on the extra safe side. The other thing you want to do is when you're flash tuning, you want to make sure that you don't leave with the key in your pocket and walk away because if the immobilizer loses connection to the key, it will fail the flash. As well as there is a known bug where if Bluetooth connects to your phone, during the flash, that also interrupts the interrupts the writing of the ECU. So that stuff is on the website. That information is not in the book. So do your best, uh, if you do get one of these, to go look on the Cobb website. They have a great support site, shows you everything about all the vehicle. And uh, there's a lot more information on the website than there is in the little bits of piece of paper that you get in the box with this. Definitely go do your research before you do something like this. It's easy, but there's things that can go wrong. And uh, anyway, I just wanted to make sure that we don't have that happen. So let's go through this right now. All right, so here's my cabling. This is the OBD2 side. This is the side that plugs into the Cobb access port. I'm just going to unplug that little protective cover, just a little piece of plastic. And now we're going to plug this into the bottom of the Cobb access port. So the side with the arrow on it is the front. It clicks into place. They expect you to mount, to kind of permanently mount this up on your car somewhere. And, uh, and use it while you're driving. So it can be gauges. Like I said, it can display live gauges. We want to go down here and we're going to plug it into the OBD2 port. Okay, it's actually cable pointing towards the door is how you get it plugged in, which is kind of not great for cable writing wise, but I want to make sure that this is definitely fully secured in its socket. This is not the mount that it comes with. It comes with a mount that you actually have to stick on to something, but uh, this one is just a little vent clip, a Kino airframe. It's meant for phones, but I really rarely use it anymore. So I was thinking if this fits the access port, that would be great. And it seems like it will. Yeah, that'd be perfect. So I'll be able to monitor what's happening doing it this way. Uh, but before I even jump into that, I'm going to do the things that I need to remember to do first. So I'm going to turn on the radio, turn on the ignition, one press. So don't turn the engine on, turn the ignition on once. I'm going to turn off my climate control. I'm going to turn off my lights. Just kind of turn everything off that you can because this is going to take a while. The first uh, install, when you install it, it's going to try and back up all the data in your current ECU and then it's going to flash over to the new software. I'm going to go into car settings and turn off the Bluetooth. Uh, menu, probably in media. I don't even remember where that is. I always have Bluetooth on, so settings. Bluetooth, we're going to turn off Bluetooth. Are you sure we want to switch off Bluetooth? All existing connections will be disconnected. So we've turned Bluetooth off. That is in the Cobb website. It says you do that on Volkswagens because that will interrupt the tune if it pairs with your phone during the update. I'm just going to turn the radio off. Bluetooth is off. Radio is off. Ignition is on. And now we're going to start going through the setup. So this is just an introductory to how you use the interface. So up, down, okay, cancel. So that's fine, hit okay. It's gonna boot up and we're going to go through the install process. So I'm going to choose to install the ECU and then later I'll do the transmission separately. So I just want to do install the ECU. I'm going to hit okay. And it should start asking me what maps I want. It's going to identify my ECU, confirm that your vehicle matches a Golf R. It does. 
And now it's going to ask me what map do I want to load. What I mentioned before was that it came with just the one EQT stage map, which is right here. I added all these other ones in. So stage the stage zero valet tune, stage one. These are all Cobb maps that I might play with later on, but um, I really just want the EQT map because that's the one that I've specifically ordered for. So I would run an equilibrium tuning tune on this car. Stage one, 91 octane, version 2.0, Cobb launch control with burbles and sport mode. So we're gonna say okay onto that. That's fine, I'm fully stock software wise. Hit okay. Charger, battery charger required, that's okay. Now it should start. It's generating my vehicle data. It should do a backup first of all my stock software. So I'm gonna let that generate vehicle data. I'll come back if it does anything interesting. All right, the backup completed and now it's t starting the flash process or this might be part of the backup process, I'm not sure, but it's now at a 7% and climbing. So we'll let it go. Also, just while it's flashing, in case you're curious, uh, I've never seen, I've never seen that logo, that red one down there before. I don't know what that means, but uh, anyway, I'm, it makes sense that all these weird warnings would show up. You're actually overriding the car's computer, so it makes sense to me. Let's let it go. While it's flashing over the software, this is the other stuff that you get with it. You get this um, secondary faceplate. I might actually install that. It would, it would go a little bit better with my car. Oh, I don't know. I don't know which one I like more, but anyway, you get a black faceplate if you want one. As well as this is the actual official mount that you get for it. I probably will not use this. That's the mount, and because it's got that weird feet on the back, I don't really like that. Sure, it's secure and all, but then you have to stick this mount to your car, and I really almost never stick anything onto my car. It's always, you know, removable. Uh, as well as you get cob stickers, so you get two cob stickers as well. 22% and counting. 30%, we just started getting some errors come up on the display. Hill assist, park assist, front assist, it's... Uh, it's working. I mean, I'll get them all back, but... <laughs> Every system's freaking out. We'll let it cycle through and keep going. No errors yet. I mean, on the call, but this is to be expected. It's only this very first tune that would take this long. Backup of all my stock software to the uh, to the Cobb device. And that's a file that you don't get access to. So it's locked into that so that you have to do an uninstall software in order to get it back. And uh, and yeah, that's why it takes so long in the first application is stock ECU to the Cobb. And then it's overwriting with all new. Any additional updates afterwards will be quicker. But this one's taking a while. It's probably 20 to 30 minute process of the full first flash. Do not leave the car with the key in your pocket. I don't know if this is a non-linear process, but we're halfway there. It's been fairly steady speed so far. Still in progress. This is taking quite some time. 80%. Probably been a good 20 minutes so far. The last 10% started going very quickly, so it looked like it, once it hit 90%, it started going very fast. 100%. Now it's restarting. It's probably doing a like a... An error check. All the errors went away except for that one red one, which I've never seen before on the display. Turn ignition key to off. Okay, I don't have that, but I've got this. Then I'm going to turn the ignition key to on. Turn the ignition key to on position. And then hit OK. Clears active trouble codes. All right, installation successful. Please turn ignition key to off for at least 15 seconds. Okay, turning it off. And then we'll start the vehicle. So I hit okay, but I'm not gonna to attempt to start the vehicle. So I'm pressing holding the brake. The car started, that's an excellent sign. If the ECU flash did not work, the car would not have started. And now I can hit OK. It's going to detect if it can flash the transmission. Your vehicle has a transmission of that software, which I did know because I checked that with OBD11 first. So I did download the files that are supported by that software code. And now it's going to say that you can connect for new updates. 
and now have access to live gauges and all kinds of extra information in here which we'll get into in another video because this one was probably quite a long time of just getting it working but uh, now now I have a car upgraded to stage one now I'm gonna go for a drive and see if I've got the crackle and bangs and stuff here we go crackles and pops <laughs> We're gonna drive it first with just the upgraded power in the compu car computer and the engine. We'll do that next. First shakedown drive with stage one power. I haven't got into it yet. I'm just getting the oil up to temp. Oil's at 72 degrees C. We've got a couple of gauges monitoring what's happening. I haven't done anything yet. I'm still in my normal drive modes. We go into sport transmission mode. I'm still unsure if you get burbles in sport transmission or if you must be in sport on ECU. sounded like burbles when I put transmission in sport. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, I'm getting burbles when I put transmission to sport, which I actually prefer. I was hoping I would not have to go into full mode and go into full race, which puts everything in the race mode.